It's gonna go for Misty Explosion. That's a bad idea. Regular Moltres survives on 16 hit points. That means that the Moltres team have won it. Welcome back to Metromania. As we go through this tournament, we thin the herd, but the competition just seems to get fiercer. Moltres and Galarian Moltres were victorious last week over Xerneas and Iveltol, but only, you know, because of a bit of shenanigans. But they made their way through. They're going to face Mew and Mewtwo in the quarterfinals. This week, we're going to find out our first team for quarterfinal three as Spectria and Gastria take on Latios and Latias. So here we are with Metromania Season 10, Heat 5, Glastria and Spectria versus Latios and Latias, and oh my word, this is going to be a wonderful competition. This is going to be a beautiful set of battles, I reckon. We've got a lot of kind of interesting variables in this battle. Here's a belly drum to start things off, though, from Spectria. Don't worry about those variables, says uh, Spectria. I was going to say because Spectria is quite fragile, but then at the same time, Glastria has so much power behind it, but then the Latios and Latias team have so much special attack and special defense between them. We see Dragon Rush from Latios onto Glastria here, though. Oh, my God, Spectria is at plus six already, though. Plus six attack. That's scary. At least its attack isn't really its forte. If that's any consolation. Here's a Leaf Tornado though from Latias onto Glastria there. Big chunk of damage from Glastria already gone. Big chunk of its HP is already uh, has already been taken by the uh, the Latias Latias team. There's Sacred Fire dealing a big chunk of damage. Even resisted onto Latias because of that beastly attack stat on Glastria there. Absolutely fantastic uh, first move there, even if it wasn't very effective. We see Spectria, though, who's going to go for Flying Press, which is a physical move onto... Uh, it's going to be resisted, I believe, by Latias, though. But a big chunk of damage, that plus six attack, paying dividends right there. Now Latias can fire back, though, with Twister, which is going to be stabbed, but is going to be neutral damage on both these Pokemon here. Didn't do a great deal of damage. Could get a flinch, though, I suppose. Here's Latios, though. What will Latios do here? It's going to go for Seed Bomb onto which of its opponents onto... They're focusing their attacks on Glastria here. They really want to take Glastria down. I guess they don't see Spectria, even with plus six attack, as that big of a threat. It's quite bizarre, really. It does have very, very weak defenses, though. Toxic spikes from Glastria, though, aren't going to have any effect in this battle, especially not against levitating Pokemon like Latios and Latias. Did you remember to like and hit subscribe? You better have done, mate. We're trying to get to more subs than we have, I guess. Let's do that. Hit subscribe. That's my goal for the week. Here is an Absorb, though, from Spectria, which is going to be resisted by Latios there. Not much damage dealt. Little bit of HP restoring, though. It was a critical hit for what it's worth, but tiniest little bit of chip damage. But any damage is better than no damage, I suppose. And then over to Latias to uh, follow up. What's it going to do? It's going to go for Iron Tail, avoided by Glastria. That could have been very detrimental to Glastria right there. Although it does have pretty beastly defense as well, whereas Latios and Latias don't have the greatest of attack stats. Latios, though, going for Disable. That is a crippling move in Metromania because now Glastria is going to uh, have to use Struggle, which takes away 25% of its max HP in recoil damage, which it does not want to do. Spectria, though... Not one to back down from a fight is going to go for Pin Missile, which will be super effective with plus six attack on Latias. A single hit from Pin Missile and down goes Latias right there from almost half its max HP. My word. Do not get hit by Spectria by a physical move right now. Grimnay increases Spectria's special attack by one stage. It's basically special attacking Moxie, for those wondering. And Latios is going to go for Sleep Powder onto which of its opponents there? Onto Spectria. Great play there. Put that dangerous Pokemon to sleep. Deal with Glastria and then deal with Spectria later. Glastria's got no moves left, of course, so it's going to struggle itself to death eventually. Barely any damage there to Latios. Puts it in the danger zone. About 11 hit points left on Glastria. But it's not going to be able... It's not going to... Uh, it's Disable isn't going to end before it struggled itself to death, and Latios knows that. So Latios really just needs to focus on Spectria, and it can take the victory in this round. Goes for takedown, doesn't affect Spectria. You can't do it like that. Glastria is going to struggle a little bit more chip damage to Latios there, bringing it down to less than half its max HP, but Glastria does go down, and now it's just Latios versus Spectria. And of course, Spectria is still very much fast asleep. Very much immobile. So Latios has a golden opportunity to take the first round right now. Spectria there still slumbering. Latios has its opportunity here. Its opponent is a sitting duck. It's going to go for Luster Purge. Hey, there you go. A Latios losing Luster Purge. What is that? Using? I said losing. It's fine. Spectria lives on four hit points, though. Down goes its special defense. But my word, four hit points left. 
Spectra has woken up. What is it going to use here? Latios must be absolutely quaking right now. Fusion Flare from Spectria. It's going to be resisted. How much damage will it do, though? Latios' special defense paying dividends right there as well because it just didn't do much damage at all. So now Latios has a chance to take away those four hit points. It goes for Taunt. That's the wrong move right there. Spectria will struggle itself to death, but it still has plus six attack, and it's about to use Struggle. This is not good for you, Latios. That might have been a mistake. Spectria uses Struggle if it survives. And Latios is down. The horses win round one. So now let's hear from our sponsors. Hello, everyone. It's your boy, Santa Claus. Now, one thing everyone knows about me is that when I enter a room, all the girls end up St. Nicholas. But one thing that nobody knows about me, because I get asked it all bloody time, is Santa Claus, mate, Big Nick, what is it that gives you the energy to get around the entire world in a single night? How do you do that? Where do you get your energy from? I get it from G Fuel, mate. I use code ACE because it's the best code out of all of the G Fuel codes, and I get myself discount on G Fuel, mate. It's banging. It's dead good. I go around world in like, I go around world twice, you just don't see the second round. And just remember, use code ACE and you'll be as cool as me. And welcome to round two. So Glastria and Spectria winning round one at the very last possible moment with Spectria being the last Pokemon on the field. Regardless of the recoil damage, that still counts as a victory for the Glastria and Spectria team because Spectria was the last thing standing. That's the way the game judges it and that's the way I'll judge it. Spectria starting off this round with Icicle Crash, which is super effective on uh, Latios there, I believe. Yep, on Latios, huge damage from a Pokemon that doesn't even have that strong attack. Absolutely immense move right there. Latias is going to start things off for its team with Ice Punch. I have to emphasize the ass in Latias, don't I? There, there's a decent chunk of damage there to Spectria, though, because, of course, Spectria is quite fragile. Latios flinches and over to Glastria for a Psy Shock, which will be resisted. On which Pokemon, though? On Latios once again, doubling in, bringing it down to less than half its max HP at the end of turn one, and it's not even been able to use a move yet. This doesn't look good for Latios and Latias. They need to turn things around in this battle if they want to, you know, keep their uh, quarterfinal hopes safe. We see Skull Bash from Spectria, so it's going to tuck in its head first, raise its defense by one stage, and then attack on the next turn. So watch out for that, Latios and Latias, if you, uh, if, if you can. Here's Latios, though, who's getting ready. Going to move this time. Going to go for Shell Sidearm. Shades of Galarian Slowbro right there. On to Glastria for a massive chunk of damage. That was huge. Critical hit as well. Does it get the poison? It doesn't get the poison, though, unfortunately, for the Latios, Latias team. Here's Latias, though, who's going to go for Horn Drill. Wants to take care of Glastria, but Glastria avoids the attack. And now it gets ready to uh, retaliate there. Going to go for Fury Cutter, which is a super effective bug-type move. On to Latias. Huge damage. Look at that. That was a Fury Cutter. Glastria's base four, uh, sorry, base one, four, five physical attack. It's absolutely beastly. Here's the Skull Bash from Spectria onto Latias, bringing that down to less than half its max HP. And already the Latias and Latias team are struggling. And then in this round, we see Frost Breath from Latias here onto Spectria, trying to take it out of contention. Brings it down to just above half max HP. Critical hit as well with that Frost Breath. And now Latios is going to follow up on its uh, ally's move right there. Goes for Hyper Beam. Doesn't affect Spectria. A wasted turn. That probably would have taken care of Glastria right there if they'd picked the right, uh, the right opponent. Trick or Treat from Glastria, though, is going to add the Ghost type to Latias there. So it's now a Dragon, Psychic, and Ghost type. Someone do the maths down below about the weaknesses. I know it'll be four times weak to Dark and Ghost, though, much like Lunala. Here's Spectria now. What will it do? What's on this ghost type Pokemon's mind? Goes for Hypnosis, but it's avoided by Latias. Very lucky break for the Latias and Latias team there. Latias is firing back, though, with Incinerate, which will be super effective on Glastria here. And it will burn up these Pokemon's Held Berries as well. So no restoring PP if it goes that far in this battle. Although looking at the damage these Pokemon are dishing out, I don't think it's going to go that far at all. We see Electro Ball from Latios here onto which of its opponents? Onto Spectria for a decent chunk of chip damage, but still chip damage nonetheless. Not enough to take it out. And Glastria is going to finish off the turn with Scary Face. Going to try and slow down one of these Pokemon. Which Pokemon will it be? It's going to be Latios and its attack dropping two stages, but Glastria's speed is base 30 so i don't if my calculations are right it'll still be the slowest thing on the field even with the uh, alatios with minus two speed here's glass uh, spectria though going for air slash using its special attacking prowess on latios there possibly giving it another chance to flinch although latios is the pokemon with the lower special defense of its team 
Although that's not, you know, it's not a lot. Here's, uh, here's Latios, though, who is going to fire off a disarming voice, confirming that it is faster than Spectria, uh, even with minus two attack. Uh, sorry, minus two speed. Why would minus two attack make something slower, Liam? You numpty. Oh, well, the show must go on. Here's a fusion flare, though, from Glastria onto which of its opponents. It's going to be resisted by Latios there. Brings it into the danger zone, but does barely any damage at all there. This is looking very even right now, which is very different to what we saw at the start of the round. The Latios Latias team seem to have evened things up a little bit here. Spectria, though, is going to go for Toxic Spikes, which is a wasted turn. Toxic Spikes don't mean anything in Metromania. They don't make any difference whatsoever. And now over to Latias, though, as an opportunity to kind of capitalize. Oh, it goes for Court Change. Waste a turn, but you know what? We get to see Court Change in action, which we don't see very often, to be honest, in Metromania. So there you go. Court Change happened. Wonderful. Add it off, uh, cross it off your, uh, your your Metromania bingo. And here's Vice Grip, spelt wrong, doesn't affect Spectria from Latios there, giving Glastria an opportunity to attack. He's going to go for Spikes, which again, wasted turn. So well done, Glastria. You might be throwing this round for your team if you're not careful. You might be giving Latios and Latias a chance to, uh, to equalize this battle, make it one apiece, you know, up the stakes of the next battle. Here we see Spectria going for Stomp. Doesn't affect Latias because of the ghost typing given to it by Glastria. The horse team are making mistakes right now. Last resort fails from Latias though, so now it's over to Latios. What can it do? What will it do? What's its response? Goes for Psycho Cut, which will be Stab onto Spectria there. Is it? It's not enough to take down Spectria though. Spectria's a bulky boy right there. Spectria is going to go for Sludge Wave, which is going to hit everybody on the field here. It's going to be resisted by Glastria though. Uh, sorry, by Spectria, I should say. Glastria is using the move. Not enough to take down Latios, though. Latios survives. Nobody gets poisoned either. So not the greatest of sludge waves, but does put Latios in a dangerous position right there. Here's Spectria, though. And Spectria is going to go for Charm and lower the attack stat of Latios. I don't know whether that was worth it. I think that's a wasted turn, especially if you were aiming for... Um for Latios. Here's Latios though, who's going to respond with Peck. How much damage will that really do though? It's onto Spectria. It's not enough. Sorry, it's onto Glastria and it's not enough to take it down. So now Latios has to follow up, goes for Snipe Shot on which of its opponents here. There's the Snipe Shot with a guaranteed crit, I believe, or increased hit ch critical hit chance. I can never remember. Takes down Glastria regardless. Did it get a critical hit? No, it didn't. I think it's just a raised critical hit ratio, I'm pretty sure. Correct me in the comments. I love when you correct me in the comments because it's just engagement and it helps out the channel. Thanks, man, for leaving a comment on Metromania. Tell me how much you enjoyed it, though, as well. Here's uh, Spectria with Razor Leaf. It's going to take out Latios, but it's very much resisted by Latios there. Not a great deal of damage. Now we have Spectria with very low HP. There's the Grim Ney once again, but this time it's against Latias rather than Latios like it was in the previous round. Latias can confirm, well not confirm, but can protect its place in the quarterfinals if it, uh, if it just beats Spectria here. Spectria could very much claim its place in the quarterfinals. Whereas Latias can protect its chance to be in the quarterfinals. That's what I mean. Of course, Latias uses Calm Mind instead, raising its special defense and its special attack. Although that does help because, you know, Spectria is at plus one special attack. Or goes for Fake Out, fails. This is Latias' opportunity to equalize right here. What's it going to do? It's going to go for Howl and increase its own attack stat. Which is, I really think that was a bad idea. I really think the attack needs to be the priority of Latias right now. Because Spectria is sitting there, fragile, at 13 hit points. What will it do here? Going to go for Pain Split. It's going to share its pain with Latias, bringing Latias into the danger zone, I believe. Yep, now they're both at 30 hit points. Latias needs to do something right now to take care of the Spectria. Goes for Gear Up, and that's going to fail. That's a big mistake by Latias. It really can't get it together right now. Spectria now given another opportunity to attack, and Spectria is going to go for Meteor Mash. How much damage will that do? though to Latias. Will it be enough? It's enough to take down Latias. It's 2-0. Spectria and Glastria are going through to the quarterfinals and now Latias and Latias are fighting for their pride. Someone did say, I should put a little notification on screen that says who the winner is, but it's 2-0. We know who the winner is. It's best two out of three, mate. The two. The two is on the horse side. The horse side have won it. They're going through to the quarterfinals, but now they have the opportunity to remove Latios and Latias' chance to leave with their pride. That drill peck doing a decent amount of damage there to Latias to start the turn off. Latios is going to go for stuffed cheeks and increase its defense sharply whilst eating that leper berry. Not a bad shout right there from Latios. 
from the get-go. If it wants to leave with its pride, it needs to make sure it's taking as little damage as possible. Here's Latias, though, who's going to follow up with Confusion, which is a same type attack bonus move and does have the opportunity to Confuse. Glastria takes a decent chunk of damage from it, but does not get hit by Confuse there. Does not get inflicted with Confuse, I should say. Goes for Sheer Cold, though. My word, avoided by Latias. Very, very lucky there to avoid the Sheer Cold. Now, Spectria is starting off the next turn, and what is Spectria going to do? It's going to go for Crunch, which will be super effective. Lucky for the Latios. Latias team, it's a physical attack, which is not the prowess of Spectria there. Latias is ready and raring to go, though. What's it going to do in response? Goes for Storm Throw. Doesn't affect Spectria, because it's a, a fighting-type move. Spectria, of course, immune to normal and fighting-type moves. We see Substitute from Latios. Not a bad play there, especially, you know, you've got increased defense and a Substitute out. Not a bad shout at all. We always love seeing that lovely, cute substitute. There you go. Halved it. So that's going to trigger someone. Here's Octazooka from uh, Glastria there. Is it enough to fade the substitute? It's not. Not very effective at all. So now it's back to another turn, I suppose. Spectria is going to start things off for its team. This really could go either way. I mean, obviously, we know Glastria and Spectria are going through to the... Uh, the quarterfinals. Latias' levitate means the mud shot. Or was it mud slap? I missed it. Doesn't, doesn't take effect. Does it matter, man? Does it matter? The Latios and Latias team are fighting for pride right now. Here's the gyro ball from Latios. On super effective move on Glastria, but doesn't do much damage at all, really, to Glastria. Gyro ball is a confusing one. It's a very unique move, I think we could say. And here is Latias, though, with Rock Wrecker avoided by Glastria. That would have been super effective. That would have had some stank on it right there. And now Glastria fires off an Icicle Crash, which is super effective. Onto which of its opponents, though? It's onto Latias and takes it right out. This fight for Pride is not going very well for Latias and Latias at all. But what did we expect? The absolute power behind these Pokemon. There's the Chilling Ney increasing the attack stat of um, Glastria by one stage, as if it wasn't high enough. Now Latios has to try and contend with these two Pokemon. Spectria is ready to go, though. What's Spectria going to do? Going to go for Swords Dance and increase its physical attack by two stages. I don't know why it's bothering, but it must be feeling very, very proud of itself to be dropping a Swords Dance at this point. Here's Latios, though, using Metronome. What will it do? It takes so much longer because it's behind a Substitute, though. Pop back out, back behind the Substitute. Now it's going to pop out again to use Burning Jealousy. That would be super effective on Glastria, though, as a fire-type move. Big damage to Glastria there. Brings it down to less than half its max HP and does a decent amount of damage to Spectria, but gets the burn, more importantly. So that Sword Stance actually was quite handy for Spectria. Maybe it knew. Maybe it had a Premonition. It's a Ghost-type. Maybe they can have Premonitions. Here's Dragon Rush from Glastria. Super effective on Latios, but of course it takes no damage. The Substitute takes the damage. And, of course, that's going to fade because of Glastria's massive attack right now, especially a plus one attack as well. There's the burn damage on Spectria. Latios really could leave with its pride, but it's got an uphill battle going forward. Spectria, of course, going to start the turn off as the fastest thing on the field. And it's going to go for Smackdown. Bring uh, Latios down to the ground, straight down there. And not a great deal of damage, of course, but... It still brings it down to the ground. I believe it can be hit with ground-type moves, even though it has Levitate because of the, uh, the the smack down there for a few turns. There's the tea time, which means the two horses are going to eat their Leper Berries and restore their PP there. Of course, the uh, Latios will not be partaking in the tea time because it already ate its berry at the start of the turn. At the start of the round, Greedy Git. Now, here comes Glastria, though. Glastria is the one to watch in this battle, I think, though. Goes for Hydro Cannon, though. Maybe not, because it's using a special attack, which is not going to do much because you have a low special attack stat and Latios has great special defense, so not much damage done at all. That does mean as well that Glastria will have to recharge next turn. This gives an opportunity to Latios to maybe mount some more offense, maybe take one of these horses down. Spectria is going to move this turn though, and it is going to move first as well. Going to go for Smokescreen, lower the accuracy of uh, Latios' moves there. Latios really not having a good time. These horses are being pretty mean. They know, they know that they can put... Latios out of its misery, but they're just not doing it. Latios goes for Shell Sidearm. We've seen it use this earlier in the battle. Uh, earlier in the... Uh, earlier in the... Uh, in, in an earlier battle is what I'm trying to say, but I'm butchering it. It's late when I'm recording this. Sue me. Of course, doesn't get the poison on Spectria because the Spectria is already burned, but does... That burn damage just bring it down to less than half its max HP, so not a terrible round for Latios. Here's Spectria, though, who goes for Grass Pledge. That's going to be resisted by Latios, so won't do a great deal of damage, but does bring it down to less than half its max HP. But now it has an opportunity. If I was Latios, I'd focus on taking out the Spectria before it can attack me. Goes for 
uh, sorry, the Glastria before it can attack me, but Spectria avoids the water gun regardless. Acid from Glastria onto uh, Latios there for a little bit of chip damage. Critical hit as well. Does it get the special defense drop? It doesn't, but Spectria does get the burn damage, slowly whittling away at its HP there. Latios, I want you to leave with your pride, mate. I'm supposed to be impartial, but I feel bad for it. I'm pitying it right now. We see Surf coming out from Spectria, which will be resisted by Latios, but won't be resisted by Glastria. So Glastria is going to take a big chunk of damage there from its partner, but it still did a decent chunk of damage there to Latios with a critical hit there. Latios sitting in the danger zone right now. What can it do here? It's going to go for Boom Burst which is going to do a decent chunk of damage to Glastria, but won't affect Spectria in the slightest. It's enough to take down Glastria, so this could be signs of Spectria turning things around. It, uh, Spectria, Latios turning things around. Spectria's bloody fine, mate. I mean, it's burnt right now, so it could be struggling. But I mean, Spectria's going through to the, the quarterfinals. It's not fighting for pride like Latios is right now. You know what I mean. Here's Spectria, though, who is going to go for Blast Burn, which is going to be resisted by Latios. But of course, it does have killer special attack. Takes down Latios, and there it is. A 3-0, a clean sweep for Glastria and Spectria. They are going through to the quarterfinals. We don't know who their opponents are. We're going to find that out next week. We say goodbye to Latias and Latias though. Spectria and Glastria going through to the quarterfinals. Next week, we'll find out their opponents as Thunderous and uh, Tornadus take on Zekrom and Reshiram. Make sure you don't miss it. So that'll do it for another episode of Metromania. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit like button. If you're new, hit subscribe button. Twitch.tv forward slash Ace Train Liam on Christmas Day for a 12-hour stream starting at 1pm UK time. And until next time, use code Ace Money of G Fuel. I'm Santa. Ho, ho, ho.